How can we make our strikers score more when we're dominating a match? Let's try this. What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. Hello from myself and my dog Kofi. You can probably see him in the background. So today we're going to look at strikers and when you dominate a match there's nothing more frustrating than just seeing the shots tally rack up but the goals ain't going in. How can we fix that? So at the minute I'm in the middle of a tactic test with Inter like I always do with Inter. I'm as a sneak preview, it's going to be the box tactic that we used last season. We'll just try to see if it works out in FM22. And we've scored 19 goals from the six games. And what I've noticed is, on so many shots, we should be scoring a lot more. Now, don't get me wrong, it is going well. We scored five against Juventus there from 10 shots on target, which is a 50% strike rate, which I'm pretty happy about. But other games, such as this one, the only defeat we've had this season, I mean, holy hell, look at the chances there. 26 shots, 17 on target, one goal, something not quite right there. In fact, there's a breakdown of the shots. You can see how many there is, literally all over the place. You've got some from the centre backs off target, the central midfielders off target, and the ones that are on target at the goal mouth. Shot saved. Edin Zeko hit the woodwork, can't do much about that. Shot saved. So you can see blocked, saved. There's a lot of shots going in. Now you need to ask yourself, are we shooting too much? Here's Edin Zeko, for example, one of the main offenders. You can see this game against Sampdoria, if we highlight it down here. He had 11 shots with only one on target. It's not good enough. I've since corrected that, which I'm going to show you guys today, but you're going to find this quite a lot. If you are having this issue, the first thing to do is get over into your data hub and have a look at it. Now, look at this. The shooting for forwards, Edin Zeko, aggressive shooting, but low quality shooting, is way up there. He shouldn't be there. He shouldn't be there. I want him closer to being over here. But at the minute, he's basically shooting far too much. Now, in the system I've got, it is very aggressive. And as an advanced forward, he's going to be an aggressive player looking for the shots. There's the tactic down there. I am still tweaking it. It will be released in a couple of days once I've finalized it. But shooting too much. Basically shooting too much. So what that means is he's going to be shooting whenever he gets the ball. He's shooting from all angles. He thinks he's the man. I need him to calm down a bit and shoot that a bit less. And it's a dead easy fix. We've got some PIs on there, as you can see. But we're going to simply add one more edit. Now... People think that shoot less often is a bit taboo for strikers. You shouldn't put it on them, but you should. All it means is, as the game says there, shoot less often, ask players to retain possession and remain patient in search of a more opportune moment at which to finally shoot. It's basically saying, don't just shoot for the sake of it, wait for a better clear-cut chance and then shoot. So by selecting that in games your favourites for, that's a key point, you're not going to waste chances. You're going to wait for a better clear-cut chance and then shoot. Rather than getting... Shots away, left, right and centre, getting blocked. If you wait for the opportunity, you're going to have a better clear-cut chance. And the reason I say it against weaker opposition is because you're going to get more chances. Against teams that are on your level, maybe you take that off because it might be a bit of a tighter game you want to shoot when you get a chance. But when you're getting loads and loads of chances like we have been in that Sampdoria game, for example, there's no better example than this. We played Sampdoria at home and it was far too close. Look at Sampdoria. Four shots, one on target one goal. We only beat them 2-1 despite having 29 shots, only 6 on target, 72% possession and Dzeko, like I said, that's Dzeko's shots. Out of the 29 shots, he had all them shots, only a couple on target. He's wasting opportunities. We've got so much of the ball, 72%. If we just tell him to shoot a bit less, hold on to the ball, wait for better chances, the results are going to be far better. And look, if you see other players doing the same thing, it doesn't just go with strikers. I asked my shadow striker who was shooting far too much again, shoot less often. We're going to wait for better chances and we're going to put that into a match now and we'll see. We should have less shots, but be more clinical. We do that against Real Madrid away and you can see 16 shots, 12 on target, still a lot, but we've scored four times. So they're obviously waiting for better opportunities against a big team like Madrid as well. Normally I'd say but shoot more often against them. We tried against Madrid and it worked. Now it goes hand in hand with obviously some team instructions as well. Now obviously if you bang shoot on sight on, that's going to say, like it says there, players to shoot whenever the opportunity arises instead of waiting for more clear-cut openings. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to bang that on. Work ball into the box can work well, but just be wary of the fact that against weaker teams that are pinning yourself back, it might be quite hard to work that ball into the box. But on occasions it can work well as well. Now, don't get me wrong, it doesn't work all the time. It's just going to encourage them to shoot a bit less. In this game against Lazio, that we've got a very good 2-0 win away. We've only took the 14 shots, and Jekyll, there's his shots there, 1-2-3. He's only took three shots, scoring one. So it does help 
against teams that you are absolutely dominating against, there's going to be more shots. There's going to be more shots. You're just going to have to hope the chances are of a better quality, but bang and shoot less often on. It's my new go-to. Give it a go. Let me know how you find it. But we've all been there, haven't we? We've had loads of shots, possession. In fact, I've done a stream this morning where we should have scored more goals and I probably should have used this option as well. But if you've got any ideas that you use to make your strikers more clinical, let us know down below. We're always learning.